What's up guys? My name is Dottie and today we're literally going to be making the best combo ever. Make sure you get your parents permission before you do this because I don't want people suing me. Now you've already seen a video of cooking with Kiki and now you're going to see an episode of cooking with Dottie. And if you haven't saw the cooking with Kiki, please go check it out. It is so awesome, and you need to see it. And she made some pretty good stuff, so let's get into the video. First, you're going to need a banana. You see this beautiful banana? Look at it. Isn't it so pretty? And now all you're going to do next is you're going to get a plate. And now you're going to get a butter knife, and if you don't have any butter knife, you can use anything. So now you're going to peel the banana. <coughs> now you're going to place the banana on the plate. Now, it's okay if it's like broken or something, or something happens to the banana. It's okay because we're about to like ruin it anyway. And now you're going to like cut the banana. Make sure that you don't cut the banana slices too thin because it won't be as pretty as this. Also, don't mind the mess on the table. Like, we were literally, like, having a party last night and everything just, uh, nobody cleaned up after themselves. So now we have to deal with this, but I'm trying to hide it. But anyway, let's get back to the cooking show. So you need to slice the banana, and that's, like... Next, we're going to do this. Now you're going to, like, move the bananas over for what else is going onto the plate. Gorgeous! Now you're going to, like, get a big block of cheese like this. I'm using medium cheddar cheese, but... Uh, you can use any kind of cheese that you want. Okay, we got the pack of cheese opened up, and now we're going to cut a slice off. Okay, after you cut the cheese, you're going to get a slice about this big. It's okay if you don't. Now we're going to throw all this in the fridge back where it belongs. Woo! And now you're going to throw the cheese into a bowl. Okay, we have our wonderfully good cheese, and we have our microwave right here. It says two seconds at the moment because I didn't set it yet. And now, we are going to, like, open the, open the microwave and put it in there. And the, it's your choice to decide how long we put it in there for. Trying not to get my paws dirty. Okay, so um, we're going. What we're going to do now is we're going to set it for like uh ten seconds. That seems a bit right. Okay. Um, how do I do this without getting my paws dirty? Ten seconds. Okay. Look at the magic. Okay, it's done. Whoa, look at that melted cheese. Now we're going to let it like set because it's like very hot right now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna let it set and I'll, I'll uh, come back whenever it's done setting, okay? Sorry, my voice actor is talking like this. She just wants to make her own voice for her characters, okay? And while we're waiting, let's try one of our bananas to see if it tastes good. Fabulous. Wow, guys, it kind of smells like macaroni and cheese. You know, now we're going to take it out afterwards. And we're going to close the... And make sure after you're done putting it in the microwave, you make sure you hit stop clear so your parents don't come and put any suspicions. And now we have some weird looking teeth. And now we just let it sit and let it like get cold and stuff. So then we can do some magic on it. And now it's sort of acting like putty. 
Okay, now it's time to do our magic. Okay, now we're going to like need a spoon and like scoop it out. And uh, I'll inform you whenever we get it scooped out. Okay, now it kind of smells like macaroni and cheese. I don't know about you guys, but I want some macaroni and cheese. But I can't get it right now because, uh, yeah. Guys, our breakfast is looking pretty good right now, don't you think? You know what? I think we need to do another piece of cheese because that looks a little small. Okay, I cooked this one a bit longer than 10 seconds, so uh, it turned into this, but hopefully it'll still be good, because cheese is the best. Okay, so my owner just realized that I have eyes that follow her around, and it's kind of creeping her out. Yeah, sorry, just had to add that in, <laughs> While our cheese is waiting, here's a fun fact. Did you know that I was made in 2016? So my owner from this checkpoint has had me for four years and a half. Did you know that? That's why I have like a rip in my head. And uh, yeah, I'm very old. I have a rip in my head. But yeah, um, that was just a fun fact. While our cheese is waiting. It's kind of still melted. Okay, so I just put our second cheese on top of the first cheese, and we're almost done. Just one more thing. Pineapple juice. It's the best. Okay, so that was how to make breakfast with Cooking with Dottie. I am going to make some more videos of Cooking with Dottie. Just let me know. Don't let me know in the comments on this video, because they're going to, like, turn them off. But anyway, that was how you make breakfast with cooking with Dottie. Um, thank you guys for watching. And now, the last step is to eat your breakfast. Hope you had a good breakfast with me. I'll be doing this a few other days, so yeah.